But anyway, with that said, let me show you what happened today. Glory to Jesus Christ, I have two opportunities to witness some Muslims locally. Muslims who thank the Lord Jesus don't know that I'm Sam Shimon. I didn't lie to them. I said I'm Sam Shimon because they didn't get defensive and we had good conversations. I went to two Islamic centers today in Orlando, Florida. So you guys, if you're in Florida, if you want to join me, I may have to go to Fort Myers next week. I'm hoping I don't go till after Wednesday. Why? I went to the Islamic center in Orlando. They gave me this. You see how zealous Muslims are in trying to convert non-Muslims? They gave me a pack of literature for free. The imam there has studied Christianity since he's a kid. And he says every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m., they have open house. I go, I want to talk about Islam, Christianity, and the Trinity. He goes, every Wednesday, 6.30, open house, come. So Lord willing, I pray in Jesus' name because I have to go to Fort Myer, meet another brother there locally and do ministry there. I'm hoping I don't go till after Wednesday. But if I do go this week, Lord willing, I'm still here to the 26th. So the week after, I'll, I'll go. Here's what he gave me, guys. A free pack for non-Muslims. Brother, that's where I went to the first place. The Bukhari Islamic Center where all your people were there. The Uzbekis. I met the Imam and someone else. But this was a different one. I was at the Bukhari Islamic Center, bro. How did you know? Wow, Alishir. But now, here's what they gave me. Look at the books. Free for non-Muslims. Free. Islam in focus. That's one. This book I was given by the mosque in San Diego. Not San Diego. In, in Modesto. When I was in Modesto, Modesto, California, I, I was given the same book. And I showed it to you. My great love for Jesus led me to Islam. A former Catholic. Catholics, you're dropping the ball, guys. In the book, he talks about being a Catholic and how Catholic priests could not answer his questions about Bible errors and contradictions against the Trinity. It's written by a former Catholic. Let's see if you can see the name. Simon, let's see. Simon Alfredo Caraballo. A Mary A, former Catholic become Muslim. So this was also given to me by the Imam at a mosque in Modesto, California. Okay. A brief illustrated guide to understanding Islam, where they try to deceive you with so-called scientific accuracy of the Quran, proving that the Quran is the word of Allah. Okay. Look how beautiful it is. Colorful illustrations. Look at how beautiful it is. See the money they're spending? Okay. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Look at this book. What is the purpose of our life? Free. What is the purpose of our life? Okay. There you go. What is Islam? Who are the Muslims? What is Islam? Who are the Muslims? They have a free packet of books and booklets to give to non-Muslims, okay? Woman in Islam. Woman in Islam. The true teaching of Islam on women. Ah. Oh. And this Quran was also given to me by the Imam in Modesto, California. No, no, actually, I'm sorry. He didn't give me this. He gave me something similar, same size, but a different translation. The Quran, translation by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. I was given a Quran this size, but it wasn't Abdullah Yusuf Ali from the Imam in Modesto, California when I was there. Okay? Now, I want you to notice the Quran that they gave me in Modesto and this one, notice what's missing. What's missing? Do you guys notice what's missing? What's missing? No, actually, it's the Shia that are white beater. They beat your whore mother, that stupid whore who gave birth to you. All right? What's missing? The Arabic. Do you know why? Traditional Islam, Muslims who follow the son of Muhammad are forbidden from giving non-Muslims the Arabic Quran. The Arabic Quran. 
you know that? Because the Quran is only the Quran in Arabic. Did you know that? Traditionally, Islam does not recognize any translation of the Quran as a Quran. The Quran is only the Quran in Arabic. So those who are true Muslims who know Islam will not give you an Arabic Quran because you're not you're a non-Muslim, you're Najis. Now I went to Imam Bukhari Islamic Center. That was the first place I stopped. The Imam there gave me this Quran. Look how beautiful. Hardcover, free. He gave this to me free. So I went to two Islamic centers. At Alashir, I went to the Imam Bukhari Islamic Center. That was the first stop. But I'm going to tell you a story. I spent an hour, over an hour, talking to the Imam and someone else. I want you to hear the story. Now this one has Arabic. He made a mistake. He gave me an Arabic in English. Okay, now. Free. Free. These Muslims are so zealous for that they go the extra mile and spend money, even poor Muslims will give, sacrifice, if it will help them in their cause of reaching non-Muslims for Allah and His Messenger. How I pray we are just as zealous, if not more so, for the true God, because their God has done nothing for them. Their God doesn't exist. Our God, Jesus Christ, became flesh, lived on earth, the perfect human life, beaten to a bloody pulp, whipped to the point of death, nailed to the cross, experienced human death out of his love for us, rose again, destroying the grave, physical death, and sin and Satan, and lives victorious as King of kings and Lord of lords, assuring us there's light beyond the grave, and assuring us that if we love him, we will not die, but will reign with him. How much more should we do for Jesus? Praying more, fasting more, studying the Bible more, living it out more perfectly without shame, carrying out its injunctions socially, politically, economically, religiously, maritally, and giving more financially for his glory and his work. Now, let me tell you what happened at the place where I got this. Guess who I met there? I met a Turkish imam, an imam from Turkey. And by the way, I'm sure there were a lot of Uzbekis. I swear to you, one of them looked like your twin. I even said, Alashir, I said to the imam there, I go, that guy right there is like my buddy's twin. I have a friend. I didn't say you're a Muslim who became Christian. I said, I have a friend named Alashir. That guy is his twin. He looked exactly like you, Alashir. If you don't know Alashir, pray for him. Alashir is a former Muslim who became Christian, who's on fire for Jesus. Pray for him and his family, wife, and children. The Lord Jesus protect him because he witnesses to Muslims and Uzbekis and a group of Muslims set him up, had set him up and recorded him and then plastered all over social media so that his family back home would hear about it and the Muslims would persecute his family back home. So I don't want to give out too much details about this man, Alasher. Alasher, I'm talking about you. I don't know why you're saying wow. But anyway, when I was there, pray for him. He's a warrior for the Lord. He loves the Lord. He does ministry to Muslims all day, all night. Pray for him. He left Islam for the glory of Jesus. And he even told me, Alashir, that Uzbekistan was the hometown of Bukhari. He even told me that. Okay. Guess who I met there, guys? And this should trouble you as well. I spent over an hour with him. He's got my number. I got his number. And he promised that we're going to meet in the upcoming days to talk about the Trinity. Guess who I met? I met... A Caucasian American named Albert. Caucasian. I even believe he had blue eyes. Light brown hair. Who became Muslim. Who became Muslim about four years ago. In the armed forces. He serves our country. He was stationed in Iraq. Became a Muslim. He's one of the teachers at the Bukhari Center. He teaches there. I guess he said he teaches science and I don't know what else. Are you with me there? Are you guys hearing this or no? You hear what I just said? Uh, a Caucasian American. Light brown hair and I believe he had blue eyes. I looked at it. I don't know if it was blue or green. Stationed in the military. He was in Iraq. He's been a Muslim for four years. And he teaches there science. Science. 
I know he said science, but I don't know what else. And he was raised non-denominational Christian, became a devout Church of Christ member, and used to also preach at Church of Christ. And then as he studied, there were questions that could not be satisfactorily answered, like the Trinity, abandoned Christianity, but knew God existed and ended up becoming a Muslim. See? And what was troubling for him, in that one hour, I talked about the hadiths showing the Quran has been corrupted, changed, and I talked about the qira'at of the Quran. He was shocked, and the imam was also troubled that I knew this. I go, didn't you tell him this? Like you're talking about you don't have original the original Bible. You don't have the original Quran. And I kept talking about Abdullah ibn Masood, Ubay ibn Kaab, writing down Qurans from memory that contradict each other. They were rock. They were troubled. They were troubled. And so he told me, man, I'd like to meet with you and talk to you more. I said, unless you've already been confirmed in your belief and it's confirmation bias that now you just want to hear things to confirm what you believe. He goes, no, 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 no. I want to hear. So there's an opportunity. I have an opportunity to meet him. I'm hoping he'll call me tomorrow because today it, it, was, it was getting dark. They were going to break their fast and they were going to eat. And then they were going to pray night prayers, tarawi, right? Tarawi. So I'm hoping he'll call me tomorrow. If not, I already text him. I sent him a text. Here's the text. All right, here you go. I go, please don't forget to make time for us to discuss Trinity and Tawheed, Sam. Pray. Pray, God, that was a divine appointment from the Lord Jesus. Pray that I'm here and I can spend time with him because we're having friendly discussions. It's not like these filthy dogs that manifest. Friendly discussion. Very kind and considerate because that's my policy. If you're going to discuss with me respectfully, if you don't slander me or bully my brothers and sisters, blaspheme Jesus, Muhammad's God and destroyer, and attack the Bible, I will spend as much time answering your objections and interacting with you. Okay? Pray I meet him. Pray, Lord willing, I have to go to Fort Myers, meet a brother there and do some ministry locally, that God's timing will be that I can be at that open house Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. And if you're in Orlando or its surrounding environs, contact me, come with me, maybe we can get it recorded. If not next Wednesday, God willing, I'm going to make sure to go there before I leave. If I have to extend my stay here, I will because I have to go to that open house if the Lord Jesus is pleased because it's open house. That means you can ask anything and everything. Glory to the triumph God, Father, Son, and Spirit. So that's what happened. 